Hello friends, my name is Satish and you are watching my YouTube channel SAP Networks. In my previous session, I have provided overview of validations and substitutions. In this session, I am going to explain about how substitution works with live example in the system. And before going to substitution, as I told earlier, substitution substitutes with old values with new values. And one more important thing with the substitution is we cannot pull substituted related data into the table levels. That means if we maintain any substitution condition in the substitution level, I would like to know from table level it is not possible. We have to go only with the transactions since it's an structure. Now let's go to the examples in the system. The transaction code we using for substitution is ggb1. Just enter ggb1 for creation of substitution rule. This is the basic screen for substitution creation. And you can see here the submodules which is allowed for creating substitution. Substitution can be created in three ways. One is with document level, header level, one is with line item level, one more with complete document. Since my document has to be trigger substitution rule at document header level, I will select document header level substitution. If my substitution has to be trigger at transactional line item level, then I will go for line item. In my substitution, it has to cover complete document, then we go for complete document. Let's start with one of the simple example for creating substitution with document header. So we have to click substitution. MPL2 and substitution rule for PL substitution. So I have given my substitution to identify it is for TMPL company code. So what are the steps I will create under this substitution? It belongs to I will use TMPL company and one more thing is the application area. So here it's provided multiple application areas and it indicates where your substitution is creating. So currently mine is showing as FI that means I am creating for financial accounting and call up point for document header. So call up point here it's mentioned as document header level, line item level and complete document. So where we would like to use your substitution, you can select your color point. So I selected as one. And here we can see some of the created and changed by. So the created and changed by, it indicates the substitution under the steps, who is created and who is done last changes. With this, we come to know recent changes, if anybody done. And one more very, very important thing is substitution creates workbench request. And under one substitution, we can create maximum of triple nine steps. If it is exceeding more than triple nine, then we can go for one more substitution. And if we would like to transport this substitution 
to quality or production it will transport the entire steps created in the substitutions that means when we are creating the substitution we have to be very very careful unless it is difficult to trace back and reset as per older version and substitution creates always workbench request this is the important information about substitution let's proceed with configuration so i have created substitution my substitution is created so in the under this i am going to create one step so my validation is should be under document header text level so i am selecting as bkpf indicates document header and the field bktxt that means i am putting the substitution under document header text level and it is showing the maximum characters everything the field details click this and the constant value constant is nothing but we are giving fixed values and in prerequisite the two important steps is one is prerequisite prerequisite is nothing but the condition the condition you are going to be put for triggering substitution so i selected prerequisite and i am going to document account in document header text so the important fields for me it's required is to identify the doctor uh, document header text i am selecting company code because i am going to validate based on my company code so i selected company code equal to constant value as we selected before constant tmpl tmpl is my company code and i am putting document header text so document header text minus if empty document header text is empty for tmpl i put just space that means document header text equal to empty then should trigger should appear my document header text as tmpl tmpl for expenses so here we have additions here we have deletions if you mistakenly we have created anything so there is an option like you can delete and recreate with new one just save it so it is successfully saved into the system now let's try with testing our scenario so i am giving as one of the example let's try with some simple entry i didn't provided any header text concept is mandatory and i am simulating my end so i didn't provided any document header text here just save it my document is posted if i check my header text nothing is appearing since i have created my substitution but my document header text is empty that means we have missed out one of the important step that is activation of substitution rule so if we create substitution that is not enough we have to activate substitution so my company code is tmpl is not appearing so click on new button and search for 
your company code I selected my company code and here is the call up points so I am going to call up my substitution at document header level and the substitution I have created is for TMPL just create TMPL and the next one more important step is activation so you can activate or inactivate your substitution to trigger so by default it is inactive now I have activated so this step is mandatory to trigger every substitution save it save it under transport request and let's try with one more example Asset is mandatory. Select one of them. Star. Simulate the entry. See, my document texture automatically picked with TMPL for expenses. Post it. And if I go back and check, it's automatically triggered. As a given in the substitution rule. So this is one of the basic example of with substitution, and I will come up with multiple examples in my subsequent videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching my videos.